In this course, I will take you through my workflow to create different kind of grooming using action in Maya. Using different techniques, we will try to replicate the hair from our character while following real life references to get the best and more realistic result. We will start with a quick introduction to action and the foundations we need to know how to create hair. After getting our feet wet with the tools, we will jump to our character where we will create the scalps and get the file ready to start grooming. We will start with our more complex and interesting description that will be our dreadlocks. We will use a special approach to create them that will give us really similar results to how dreadlocks are created in real life. Once our dreadlocks are in a good place, we will jump onto the short hair using a different technique to learn different ways to approach grooming. With both types of hairs in place, we will work on different descriptions to integrate them better between each other. After this, we will take care of the eyebrows and eyelashes following real-life references to get the best result. We will study our references and we will check how to replicate this in our action scene. In all the different type of grooming that we will create, we will learn how to work with guides and modifiers and we will create different maps to control our hair. Once we start getting happy with our grooming, We'll set up a render scene in Arnold and we will start testing and checking the results. We will use these renders to auto-evaluate ourselves and then go back to action to do some final modifications. After this, we will be ready to jump onto our final renders and create our final turntable. The grooming skills that you will learn in this course will serve you as a base to understanding how hair needs to be created in a production environment and allow you to create the characters and 3D words that you love. With more than 7 hours of video content with a mix of real-life detailed explained videos and time lapses, the main goal of this course is to share with you my knowledge and processes to hopefully help you on your journey on becoming a complete and successful character artist. I'm Thomas Sackman, I'm a 3D character artist working in the film industry and I will be your instructor in this journey.